Hey guys, this is Multibeast Gaming, and I'm going to be doing a uh, Let's Play video of uh, StarCraft II Battle. Um, I am not going to say I'm good at this game in any way. Um, I'm actually not even going to be doing a real online battle. I'm going to be doing a 2v2 versus the AI. Me and another guy versus two AI guy computers. Um, so I'll be playing as a Protoss and uh, the other guys will be playing as whatever they want. So I will start the video back up once I get to the match. Alright guys I am playing on Twilight Fortress. I am playing as the Protoss. My ally is playing as uh, the Terran. So you want to get your probes started right away. You want to have the uh, you want to have your uh, production going right off from the, the start. Um, so, I'm gonna go ahead and warp in uh, my pylon. Start up my chrono boost. You must construct additional pylons. Hopefully I can get my pylon done pretty quick. Chrono boost a lot in order to uh, speed up your production of probes, and you want to get out a quick gateway in the case of enemy. any early uh, tactics that your uh, enemy might be using against you. Um, Though they are AI, so it shouldn't be too much of a, uh, a problem for me to handle. Because they do not usually do early AI rushes. Or early rushes. It's not very often. Um, but I am playing on hard with this guy. Uh, so you never know what they're going to do. Crazy AI. Um, I'm just gonna lay out some more pylons, and uh, I do need to get up inside the eggs more sometimes pretty soon. Man, the volume on this game is just loud. Um, setting out two of those guys. Now I got my pylons up. I'm going to set out one of these. And then he's going to go back to uh, doing what he was doing. I'm going to chrono boost. Then uh, and then I'm going to be setting up two more of these. Or one more. Because I don't want to waste all my resources. Alright, now I got my first sell it out. I'm going to be... Uh, Setting it up over there, make sure that no one comes up that ramp prematurely before I'm ready to handle it. Um, while the Seven X Core is training, I'm going to be wanting to uh, set out some additional uh, zealots, and I'm going to be wanting to train or uh, build up a. Uh, robotics facility in order to start training maybe some uh, yeah, some uh, immortals. Immortals will be great for uh, 
Justice. fending off any sort of uh, more tech, tech like units, such as those marauders, no uh, siege tanks, um, because they usually tech up early. Um, the mortals work, work pretty good against um, all kinds of units. Uh, stalkers, I'm pretty sure. Now I need more uh, of these um, pylons. So I'm going to be building some up here. So that guy has uh, As you saw, probably I'm s I'm researching the warp gate because I like to go for a warp gate tech where I actually uh, warp in all my troops because that way you can get them to wherever you're fighting a lot faster than if you were to say just to have uh, have the normal warp. And as you can see, they they teched up like I thought. Um, my allies probably not gonna help me. My immortal's not gonna finish. So this looks like it's the unsuccessful fight. I'm gonna try to train something. Guys, looks like my ally might be able to uh, defend me while I try and train up some troops. Looks like his fight is not turning out very well. At all. I'm gonna try to protect my immortal because he uh, does quite a bit of damage to these guys. Alright, I got my zealots out. Looks like I might pull out of this, but it's gonna be a tough, tough, uh, oh, no, I don't these guys are kicking my butt. It's the early stages of the game, and that sucks. Um, yeah, I think I might be able to pull this off. These guys are pretty tough. Alright, me and my allies managed to fend off their first wave. I don't know if we're going to be able to fend off the second wave, but we're going to try. Um... Alright, get my uh, Vespine gas production up. I have some troops here. I think we'll be ready for the next uh, wave that is going to be coming, I'm sure. Um, I need to get a forge down because I need to start upgrading my so I'm going to be placing the forge down right here. Get this guy back to work. Get all hands on deck. Alright, um, yeah, they're probably going to be hitting back pretty hard sometime soon. And my ally has a siege tank up in siege mode. So I'm going to be pulling these guys back to a better location than right where his siege tanks are going to be hitting. We shall serve forever. Um, I'm thinking I might put up some photon cannons um, right here for any, um, any guys that might be coming up right there. Um, Alright, this, this isn't going as bad as I originally thought it was going. So hopefully we can uh, salvage that early rush that I was not expecting, but I still planned for it and had a couple of units ready, and I, I'm glad I had at least some units ready to hold them off for a while, and then I also had my gateways up early, which probably saved me from a very painful my ally is going to be using his siege tanks or not. Seems like he is going to push right into our base. My ally has 
look like they're a little bit too far away to actually help from where I'm at. But I am going to be warping in some stalkers. And it looks like I'm going to be needing some more Vespine. Yes? Get some more uh, warp -dudes. And I'm going to be training some more uh, of the Immortals. They help quite a bit, especially now that they're starting to uh, show that they are teched up pretty good. They already have ghosts. I wouldn't be surprised if they get some uh, units out there pretty quick, um, such as uh, nukes. They're going to have nukes, I'd say, pretty soon. And I wouldn't be surprised if we don't see some Thors being put out here pretty soon, because who doesn't like to use Thor's? Alright, so this isn't going too bad. I We managed, me and my teammate, to um, fend off two waves now. Looks like he's building up a pretty Pretty good army. Hopefully he uh, techs up those um, those marines and marauders pretty good, and hopefully those tanks are uh, they have good armor and good uh, good weapons. Because if they don't, they'll just get steamrolled by the enemy, which we now know are Terran and Protoss. Uh, looks like they have their uh, radar or whatever that is placed. Um, so, yeah, hopefully uh, we don't get our butts kicked here before too long. Alright, so I'm just going to try and spawn as many stalkers as I can. Because this is going to be... It's very important, I think, to have stalkers, because stalkers for Protoss are just a blessing. They're great. They do all kinds of, at least for me, I use them for all kinds of things. Um, I use them to attack the enemy base. Um, these guys back. My royals will be able to take out these, uh, Stalkers, unless they get killed. Hopefully they won't get killed. And it looks like we've been able to fend off this uh, other attack. Now I'm going to see if I can get my ally to attack. Alright, so now I think we're going to be going on the offensive. Um, I'm going to bring up my other stalkers, and I'm going to be trying to get Blink. We are one with the shadows. Okay, so now I'm going to be bringing up these troops. Mineral Looks like his guys are with me. Uh, this is going to be the Terran, be and I think I'm going to be uh, Very wise. attacking Mineral the Terran, depleted. actually, Very well. first. I'd rather attack the Terran first. Uh, there are cool. The Protoss against Protoss are uh, For now, just. We move oh yeah, they're just extremely large amount of forces. If we can get siege tanks set up, there we go. Oh, looks like we have some 